Hey fellow riders, today the trip to the Blue Ridge Mountains begins and I'm excited as hell, starting right now on Moto Travel USA. Hey everybody, as you can see I've left pretty early this morning. I do that for a couple reasons, which I'll go to in a little bit, but I'm starting the Blue Ridge Parkway trip today. I'm not making it to the Blue Ridge today, but this is the first leg and this is the kind of highway leg today. Everything else is kind of back roads until I head back. But I gotta tell you, I'm really excited about this trip. This should be fun as long as weather holds out and it looks like it will. It looks like I'm gonna get pretty moderate temperatures, maybe a little warm some days, but cool a lot of the time too. And maybe a day or two of rain which I can handle. So some may ask why I leave so early, even before the sun rises. I do that for a couple of reasons, and I do it when I'm taking motorcycle trips and actually when I take car uh, road trips as well. Essentially what I'll do is I'll look ahead and see the route I'm gonna take, where there's gonna be traffic, and I kind of back time that so I don't hit around rush hour. Shouldn't have too much trouble with that today. It is Saturday, so shouldn't hit too much traffic, but I like to leave early. Not a lot of people are out. I can make up a lot of ground, especially when I'm doing the highway driving on a motorcycle. And being on a motorcycle when the sun rises, there's just something spectacular about that for me. It's, it's hard to explain if you've never done it, but you should try it sometime if you haven't. It's uh, pretty spectacular unless it's a cloudy day or raining, and then it kind of sucks. But yeah, so typically I'll, I'll try to avoid traffic and commuting times. So I'll try to leave so I don't hit that around like a seven to nine, either get there a little bit before or a little bit after. And in addition to the trying to avoid the traffic, since I'm from Florida, I like to leave early to avoid a lot of the midday heat. Today I'm probably going to get a little bit because I'm not getting super far. Just going to Macon today, about five, five to seven hours, depending on stops and traffic. And they, they have similar weather, so it'll probably be a little warm today. But I should get there between noon and three, and then I can relax and go hang out and go explore a little bit without the riding suit on and everything. But yeah, if I'm traveling within Florida, I'll try to get out early. Because if you're out between noon and two in the summer, and we've been having summer weather recently, you're gonna melt. There's a cool crispness to the air right now, and it's not too bad. So as I was saying today, it's just kind of a long highway drive up to Macon just kind of taking the Florida Turnpike to 75 and making it kind of right off of 75. So it's not a lot of roads, but boring interstate riding. I found a couple places I want to stop along the way, but for the, there's really not going to be any great motorcycle roads today. That, that's what the rest of the trip is about. So if you're wondering why Macon, when I was planning this trip, I might have said it in some previous videos. I wanted to change it up. Every time I take the Blue Ridge Parkway, I change it up in some way, shape, or form. I'll camp sometimes, ride the entire length sometimes, and find different places to stop and visit just to keep it fresh. Even though the road itself, you could probably ride it a hundred times and still find something new, even without planning for something new. There's so much variety to it. But I really like to set goals for myself and do some unique and interesting things or go check out things I haven't seen before. So I'm stopping in Macon really for tomorrow because I want some time to explore tomorrow and go to some locations tomorrow and document them and show them to you guys and ride around in some of the area. I'll be stopping near Silva and Cherokee Dillsboro area and uh, I, I want to stop and go to some filming locations which we'll cover tomorrow but Macon for me was a good stopping point so I have time tomorrow to get where I'm going 
and then still have time to explore and do some stuff and then continue on the next day. And I've stayed in Macon before. It's actually not a bad area. The downtown city is pretty cool. Some micro pubs and really cool things if you're ever in this area. And Macon also helps. You can break off from 75 here and not go through Atlanta. There's some back roads. I think it's 23 or 25 that just brings you right up to the mountains. It might take a little bit longer because they're a little slower than the interstate, but I would rather go a little slower than sit in hour to two hour long traffic within Atlanta or just go through Atlanta at 3 a.m. in the morning. As you can see, I'm down with getting up early, but I don't want to get up that early. Another thing I wanted to challenge myself with on this trip are daily updates for you guys. I'm not going to do it with the GoPro. The GoPro, which is attached to my helmet and documents the riding videos, I'll share those when I get home. But I'm going to use my iPhone 8 to film kind of daily diaries of what's going on, where I've stopped, what I've, what I've been doing. Most likely it won't have any riding footage in it just because I'm not bringing a computer or anything to download the GoPro footage with and it's too convoluted to do it on my phone. So really I'm gonna shoot everything on the iPhone 8, little daily diary updates and try to upload those either nightly or in the morning so you guys can see the next day what's going on. And I just wanted to see, is it possible? What's the quality like? And really kind of share the experiences and where I'm stopping with you guys. So keep an eye out for those or take a look because actually by the time this video goes up, those will already be done. So as these the ride videos are being posted, definitely check out the daily updates and that'll give you a little bit more of what went on during the trip.